Alrighty then, so we're going to go to the next step, and that is to uh, start painting this, maybe. I'll show you in a minute here what I've got. <coughs> I have got uh, some uh, filler, filler sandal bowl primer, so that's good. And then I've got my uh, perfect match coloring, which... I don't know, it's about as close as I'm going to find. I didn't find actual Mazda uh, Classic Red, but um, this looks pretty good. All right, I think the next thing I want to do is kind of clean this off a lot. You can see how gross that is. So, take my handy dandy simple green, simple clean, simple green. Okay. Yes, my work table is a subwoofer box. So this says I can use, uh, I don't know, it's about 70 degrees, which it is about 70 degrees, and I need to let dry 10 minutes in between coats. I'm gonna do two or three coats, and then uh, let it dry for an hour or so, and then get to a standard. So here we go. Gotta say, I am nervous. 12 to 16 inches away, here we go. Okay, so I've already put on the two coats. This is going to be the third coat, and uh, I'm going to let it dry for two hours, and then I'm going to sand it all down real good, smooth. I very obviously didn't do a good job here or here. There's like pinholes, um, but again, we'll we'll let this rest. I'll come back in two hours, and uh, we'll see what it looks like when I sand it. All right, so here we are a couple hours later, and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and sand this down a little bit. It feels pretty good, uh, but I need I do need to smooth it out a little bit, and I'm also gonna run this fan because I think it's gonna make a lot of dust. So let's give a little look. I'm using a 2,000 grit sandpaper on a block, and already I can feel I can feel the bumps left by my Bondo work, which again tells me that I didn't do a very good job with the Bondo work, but I didn't expect to either, being my first time and everything. So maybe just using my flat hand might, might be better. It feels nice and smooth. Except for the except for the little bumps that I feel. So <coughs> honestly, I think it's doing its job. Could be worse. Get a lot of this dust off. Well, let's give it a shot. Worst case scenario, I have to spend another twelve bucks on uh, sandpaper and and more paint. All right. What was that? Wasn't me. I got power. Something exploded, I don't know. Okay, here's literally, here goes nothing. All right, there's, so there's a step that I have to wipe this down with rubbing alcohol. So I'll get myself a clean towel. From what I've heard, it's all in the prep. Oops, I forgot to run the camera, so I'm actually doing this. Okay, that's coat one. Okay, we're gonna go with the second coat. I'm gonna go the other way so that I don't have weird striping happening here. Alright, one more coat. 
All right, last coat. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to have to maybe do a couple more coats, which means I might have to get another, another can of this. But it's going on okay. I mean, it doesn't look, doesn't look terrible. didn't work. Yeah, that'll work. Getting a good amount of orange peel. Oh, just about running out. I can already tell that there's a big area here and a big area kind of right here that's definitely not covered with paint. I think the uh, primer really drank it up. Uh, I don't know what you'll be able to see and what you're not able to see. Yeah, you can definitely see that. So we have an area that looks better than well, the camera won't hold focus. So yeah, I'm going to get another can. And then we'll put another couple of coats on it and see if I can't make it look a lot better. All right, we're back again. Um, late last night, I went out and got a second can of spray paint. And I gave it another another good, healthy coat. And uh, today, we're gonna, I, did, I watched some more YouTube last night about how to fix uh, bad paint. And um, not that this is, you know, horrible. Yeah, it is. It's horrible. Anyway, so we're going to do some wet sanding. And then uh, I got some Meguiar's um, polishing compound. We're going to polish it up and see if we can't make it look like it belongs on a car. I got 1,000 and 2,000. So we're going to obviously start with the 1,000. Oops, that's not good. I'm just going to start on this edge right here sort of, uh, you use the water as like a lubricant when you're sanding. You don't use any pressure really. You're just supposed to kind of, oh, and you're not, you're not supposed to go in circles either. And when you, when you start feeling um, resistance, you use more water. This is what I've, been told this is what I've read or seen on the internet. Okay, so that's the 1000. I hope I don't become that Miata guy. Um, I never really was with my old Miata. I mean, they're just cars. They're fun cars, but they're just cars. So I guess that's why a decent spray bottle is seven bucks, because these cheap ones suck. All right, so I see the cross patch, the cross hatching of, of my sanding efforts, and that's okay. That was kind of to be expected. All right, so we're gonna give this a shot and uh, I'm gonna start with something called Maguire's Ultimate uh, Compound. And this is a, um, it's a polishing compound and I didn't go for the, the really abrasive stuff. Uh, a, because it was super expensive, um, three times as much as expensive as this. Anyway, and then uh, and then we're gonna finish it up with uh, some show park glaze um, and, um, we're going to apply that with these little applicator pads, and then um, I've got a I've got a buffer here and a little little orbital uh, orbital polisher, and we're gonna we're gonna see if that helps out as well. Okay, so let's get started. And say to put a stripe across the middle of that. Oops. That happened. All right, and you're just gonna kind of pat it, pat it around, and then start buffing it in. Again, I'm just 
sort of pat it on there and then buff it in. So let me read the instructions really quickly now that I've done it. I'm not, I'm not a pro, so I'm not doing that. And we're just going to wipe this away. Take two. This looks better than that. Somebody's going to be doing some laundry later. Picked up a little bit of water from the edge there, that's no good. But, it's starting to look very good. ham on this side here. Hopefully it's not too liquid. It's a little liquid. Oop. Dripping. Drip. Probably should have read the instructions. Work one second at a time, blah 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 blah. I use a clean towel, blah 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 blah. I don't know what a little is. kind of expecting that I should use enough to cover the piece that I'm working on. A little splatter. Uh oh, did I just did I just scratch it somehow? What did I scratch it with? There's nothing sharp on here. Very interesting situation. It is way better than I thought it was going to be, but I can still see a lot of the underneath. You can kind of see the difference here. Let's see if I can give you a better idea of what it looks like. You can still see my Bondo mark right there. That kind of sucks. The top Bondo mark is a lot worse than the bottom Bondo mark. You can't really see the bottom Bondo. But that's what I started with. So let me get started on the other side and I'll come back when that's finished. All right, so here we are. It's finished. Um, it's not as good as I would have liked. However, it's better than I thought I was gonna be able to do with just rattle cans and some elbow grease. So uh, the color is a little off, but a lot of that has to do with the fact that this paint is so oxidized that it's stopped being red and started becoming more pink. So I'm hoping that after I treat the rest of the paint, um, it's gonna look a lot better. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back with a more aggressive, um, and I don't know how much of this you can see, but I'm gonna have to go back with a more aggressive um, cutting compound and get rid of a lot of these deep scratches that, that I put in from using the, um, I don't know if it was the, I guess it's the 1000, sandpaper and then this scratch that I just recently put in there I don't I don't even, I have no idea how I did that uh, you guys saw me do that and I don't I was using a brand new fresh clean cloth okay and then the um, the bondo areas not great but uh, you know not bad for a first time and I can always do it again and I probably will so, thanks for watching. Sorry for the 
really, really badly uh, moving camera here. Uh, and I'll catch you next time on I Have No Idea What I'm Doing. So, later. <laughs>